Hi everyone, it's Dee from Turtle Dove. How's everyone doing? I am here with a project to share today. I have been making these or embellishing these wooden spoons over the last two and a half, three days. So um, I once again was like a mad woman and I couldn't just make a few, I had to make a lot. <laughs> so I'll just take you through them. Um, this is what I started with, just a simple wooden spoon thing. I used my Inca Gold, which I have quite a few colours, and just used my fingers and put the paste on that way and then polished them off with a bit of kitchen towel. And that way it dries pretty quickly. And then I just stuck as many things as I could and hung as many chains and bead as I could and I used E6000 uh, especially for the heavy um, embellishments or the metal and rhinestone embellishments um, and then the fabric glue which I use a lot um, actually and then I also used just some tacky white glue for the little uh, tiny beads, the seed beads. So I'll take you through some of the spoons. Now, this is in the pretty blue colour and you may have seen a video of me showing these bead dangles that I made. Um, so I used some of those as well. So I drilled a hole on the end just by hand. I'll just show you what I used quickly. Um, I got this from Aldi. It's called Work Zone, and these are a handheld drill set, and they're very, very small. There's different sizes, but that really comes in handy. And one thing I will say is you've got to be very careful uh, and just go gentle and slow. If you push too hard, what happens is it splits at the back. So yeah, um, that happened a couple of times and the first time it happened I just cut off a bit of the end and then started again and folded off with an emery board. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that, how the wood can split. So just got a slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> and um, not so heavy handed so... But anyway, I loved how they turned out. I've just put rhinestones wherever I could. Um, and then you hold the spoon. I put the chain of rhinestones on the one side. And not on all of them. And then I put some beads and resin flowers and whatever I had in my stash just to pretty it up. Now I still may make some bows for this. Um, but... I've got to really match the colours up, so I'll have to look through my stash. So I've got the little blue ones, I'll do the blue ones first, they're all slightly different. This one has the shell with the pearl charm, and same sort of thing, just put flat backs wherever I could. And this used to be a pair of earrings, and um, yeah, I just cut everything off except for the jewels. So that's a cheap way of, of getting some nice embellishments. And then this one here is my bead dangle which just come off. And I think it come off here at the dangle. No it didn't. There we go. I've got to push that together again. So I'll remember that one to do that later but yeah I've just used whatever I had these I've had for a long time this re resin roses are beautiful and this one here I used the seed beads that's where I used the white glue and then the pearls that I stuck down I used the E6000 anything that's heavy like this and the rhinestone chain I used E6000 and the back's done as well so I think it might look nice finished off with a uh, a bow, what do you think? And then this one here is a different blue, it's more of a royal blue, and this one's a 
fun. It can be for Christmas or birthdays. It's a little gift. This is actually Christmas embellish or Christmas buttons. It can be used for birthdays, Christmas or any other occasion. And I like the dangle that I made a while ago. And then on this one, in my stash, I made these little candies a long time ago. And so I thought it would be nice to fill a spoon up with candies. And then there's a resin candy that I got from BB Craft. And a little resin rose. And then I put some sequins down there as well. Just to make it look like you're scooping up some candies. So that's fun. I think that's all the blue ones. Now the purple, again the same with the candy. And I put some sort of um, flakes, iridescent blue flakes along the bottom of that one. And a beautiful um, teardrop rhinestone in the centre there with a little bead and a tiny little resin flower. And here's the button, pink button. And then on the end of this one I have these gummy bears, resin gummy bears, and just a little bead dangle that I tied the wire around. That's a pretty purple. Now the peach ones are cute. There's a little resin bear. And I love these little resin flowers. You can actually put a bead in the middle of that as well. There's a little um, butterfly and flat back pearls. And this one here, this used to be earrings. And I've had those for years. And I'm finally using it. So I just had a look at what was in my stash. Anything that was this tone. Pinks in the peaches. There's peach in there as well as the pinks. So I added some pearls and some gold. A little heart. And a square or oblong rhinestone. And I've got these beautiful gold charms. This one's a butterfly with a little wrapped bead that I did a long time ago and then this one here is the shell peach shell it's a little blue butterfly so I made this peach and blue a very pastel blue with a lot of pearl and this one I really like this one this is um, more of a plum pinky plum colour um, with the greens and I think they go very well together so I put a little resin flower there and most of them are just the round beads with a little heart and a flat back at the front and this uh, rhinestone chain is a bit finer I didn't have much of this left I think I used I used it on three or four um, but yeah I finished that up so I have to get some more of that because it is nicer for smaller work but I just loved how that turned out with the butterfly on the top and then the rose charm with another little couple of wrapped beads that I did a long time ago and this one here is more just the white pearl and the pinks with the resin rose and having the little gold bead in there just makes everything pop I think and there's rose charm and then this one I put the butterfly charm on the end and a big butterfly down the bottom and then a little one underneath that and a whole lot of other little jimmies in the spoon so I just like how it looks like you're scooping things up with it so that's those I also made some Christmas spoons um, again using the ink gold and the reds and the greens now my favorite which I'll be keeping this one and I wonder if you can guess why <laughs> yes it's got a snowman there and he's surrounded by 
some silver glitter and a Christmas tree. They were buttons from Spotlight. And I've had this in my stash for a long time. And then I made these little beads here with a bead dangle. And this one I got from Myrna by, uh, from Hey Little Missy for Christmas. And I wanted to keep that bead for myself. I absolutely love it and I haven't seen anything like that it's in the shops around here. So yeah, this one's mine. And this one is really cute too. I used some wooden flourishes. It's a gold uh, gingerbread man and a rocking horse and those candies with some gold seed beads. And hanging off of that, these are actually for wine. Um, and I've had them in the cup and I've never used them. So they've got just this ring with some seed beads there and some rubber, uh, different rubber items like this one's a candy and then I have these little tree lights, the resin tree lights and then I put some little bells on there and then I wrapped it up in the pipe cleaners, metallic ones. So I really like how that turned out. And then the other green one, I used a wooden rocking horse, another little resin button in a parcel with another little one stuck on top of that. Again did the same thing with the candies and the beads. And here's the other ring and this one has a bauble on it. And then I added the bells and a light. And those lights were from Cheapest Chips as well. And then these are the red ones. So there's another gingerbread man. Some bells on the spoon this time at the bottom. Some red sequin. Little tiny sequin scatters. And another little um, blingy gift. Another one on the top there. And this one, I've had these for years. Um... These are Christmas decorations I bought years ago and I pulled it apart so I could use the stars. So I added the star to that and another one of my bead dangles that I made with the little beads that I made and wire wrapped. You may have seen a video on that one. And there's the red one, the green parcel and the little green one on the top of that. And this one's the ring again with the Christmas tree. And lastly, it's a sleigh, pretty Christmas tree, some more sequin mix and bells. Actually, I've got to um, put something on this one. I haven't quite finished this one. That one snuck away. And then I love this bead dangle with the purple and the reds really look nice together. And then the bead spaces with the little wire wrap beads on the end there and the bells. It just sounds really nice. So yeah, I'll be keeping these for Christmas. And um, hopefully I'll be able to give them out. So that's it guys, just a project share that I thought, yeah, I took two and a half, three days doing this. Um, it was really fun though, I really enjoyed it. So now I'm going to have to wrap some pipe cleaners on the end there like I did here. Or put another little... I don't know, flat back something on there, a little rhinestone or jemmy or something. But yeah, I think the Christmas ones will definitely look nice with some bows. Maybe just behind the spoon here. So I will do that another day. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.